Hey y'all, it's uh, Sunday evening, and so that means it's time for another YouTube video, because um, I'm going to try to get back to doing these at least once a week. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, writing. Um, I finished uh, Jenny and Dana's um, first book for Fayville. Uh, Self-edited, which took me about three days, and... Um, it's with the reader right now, and it'll be off to the editor hopefully this week. And then I gotta speak to the cover designer and get that uh, done. So I gotta look for some pictures and send those off to her and get that cover done. So that book is uh, a story book, whatever, is almost done, which will be nice because it's taken me about two months to write this one because um, it's one of my longer, uh, close to 40,000 word um, stories. Um, after that, I guess on Monday, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, because I was really concentrating on this one, but I believe May and Catherine are going to come back for number nine for Crimson Rose, and, uh, wrap that up, so, uh, that won't take me as long, because it's only going to be about 20,000 words, and I'm still doing about 500 a day on that, so I get, uh, you know, about a thousand done in a week. Um, and then when that gets wrapped up, it, I could also do like another box set because it'll be number nine and I could, uh, do, uh, combine those, uh, seven, eight, and nine together later in the year or what have you. And then after that, I don't know. There's quite a few different stories I have that are open-ended right now. I need to, to wrap up. Um, there's one for the Asianics number three and there's also one for my werewolves. So, and then I got a couple other ideas, and um, I'm not quite sure what will uh, happen, but um, I'll work on them throughout the year. Like I said, this year I'm not uh, publishing as much, and I'm really not spending much for marketing. So, um, other than that, uh, tomorrow will be baking day as usual. So, um, with the way uh, food prices are doing, um, been going muffins are really um needed to be done and so this week we'll probably be doing apple um it's kind of hard to figure out what i'm going to do for fruit lately because different fruits are different uh, prices but uh, my frozen ones have been pretty good so um yeah this week we'll be going to do uh, apple i might throw some cinnamon in it we'll see uh, other than that uh, i've still been doing my deliveries um from wednesday to sunday which i just finished a little while ago to make my about 300 hours a week and um that's helping me pay off my car which is uh i'm gonna hopefully pay off early and uh, like i said i have my budget for that um i'll have to see what happens at the end of the year and then into next year but i don't want to pay that till the five years that the loan was actually for and uh, my investing is ongoing still. Um, my uh, IRA, which I started last year for Acorns, is getting closer to a thousand dollars in it, which is nice. Um, uh, I want to throw a little bit more money into that, hopefully, because um, the market kind of went down and uh, I lost quite a bit of money for the last couple months on that. So I want to balance that out. Um, with the other part of acorns because they do like two two things that you can do um one is like a, an investment thing and then they do the uh, like the ira part so i want to keep those kind of uh balanced and then my brokerage account for republic um this week will get me to about 24 to 2500 um finally <laughs> uh this week it actually went up uh so i didn't have a like any red days which would be which was nice um the last like five months of the year has just been kind of depressing watching um, all of the stocks that i purchased go down but i'm still gonna do my dollar cost averaging which is put a hundred dollars in and then I, the other day i made like a, a database um of everything that i want to put in for the rest of the year i uh, might change it around at the end of the year but so um yeah, this so that helps me keep track of what my hundred dollars is going into. Um, it's, it's new. I, I mean, I started it, uh, I think, in November of last year, so I didn't really have much in it. And um, at this point, right now, it gives me about uh, seventy-five dollars in dividends because it's a dividend portfolio, and which is nice. Um, June, I will be making quite a bit. Uh, I'll be making about ten bucks. 
um, throughout my different stocks that pay out in June. And I'm just going to take that money and reinvest it automatically. It does it automatically in public. So I'll, I'll grow my shares a little more. So things are going well with that. Um, it'll be nice uh, actually when it gets you know higher and um, I get more of my dividends. But um, you know, for somebody who really didn't have any income for the last 35 years or so and couldn't do any investing and stuff like that, that's uh, kind of nice to have and rely on that. So it'll be nice when it um, keeps going up. And my dividends keep growing. So um, I'm not looking to, you know, have that very, uh, you know, if it, it gets to a couple hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, that would be nice. <laughs> um, I'm not expecting at this age, because I'm in my 40s, to ever go grow more than maybe four to five uh, hundred thousand would be nice. But, you know, half a million. Is nice to live on <laughs> um, so that's about it for now but you know I'm not uh, foreseeing that uh, might not ever happen but even you know a couple a couple hundred thousand would be nice <laughs> um, it'll sure ease my burden of not worrying about uh, where my money and what can I pay and what can't I pay because you know my kidney disease has really screwed that up all of the years and unfortunately um, until I learned that I can actually, you know, save money, I didn't uh, keep anything. So if I knew that years ago, what I knew uh, last year when I made my book money and hit 2000 because the government won't allow you to have more than 2000 I would have invested, you know, maybe 5 or $10 a week. But I'm making up for that now, so that's good. And um, other than that, the rest of this week is going to be same old, same old. I'm going to go back to working on my writing, do my writing. I just said that, do my writing, do my deliveries, um, baking tomorrow, and then maybe do some gaming or reading. So things are, you know, pretty much the uh, same old same. COVID, uh, our pandemic stuff is still ongoing, um, but our numbers have gone down a little bit, which is nice. Maybe we're finally over our wave here again in New York. So that's about it, and I guess I will be back uh, next to, uh, Tuesday, not Tuesday, Sunday, the, to do my uh, end of the week wrap up and see where the market goes. Um, tomorrow it's not open because it's uh, a holiday here in the U.S., and I did put my $100 in, like I said, which is going to go into 3M because uh, it's one of the companies. I only buy companies that I agree with, so 3M is one of my on my portfolio, and um That'll get me to about $300 into 3M, so that's nice. So right now I'm trying to balance out my uh, my portfolios by doing that. I'm going to keep them, get them all to about 300 even, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do uh, after that. So um, hopefully by the end of the year I should have about 3000 invested. So that'll be uh, very cool, and that'll grow my dividends. So um, I guess... Uh, just wondering how things are going with you um if you made it this far and you know do the normal subscribe and comment or like because it helps uh youtube know that i exist and i always appreciate that because it helps me um gain uh understand uh helps youtube just you know build my channel um so okay i guess i kind of rambled here long enough i'm gonna take off and i will see you uh, next week